Panter's claims, based on conversations with his ex and incidents he says he witnessed, were chilling. Panter says his then-girlfriend's career was largely dependent on staying in O'Reilly's good graces, and that O'Reilly repeatedly asked her out and made sexually charged late-night phone calls to her. Panter's story also implicates Fox News leadership, whom he says helped coordinate an effort by O'Reilly to pressure Panter's ex into helping discredit other accusers. Panter wrote that he was recounting the incidents because his former partner had reached a settlement with O'Reilly and was bound by a non-disclosure agreement. Get CEO Daily, Fortune's newsletter for leaders. O'Reilly's suit was filed in New York Supreme Court and can be read in full at Mashable. It claims that Panther's Facebook post is defamatory and false and caused public hatred, ridicule, disgrace and permanent harm to O'Reilly's professional and personal reputations. Panther issued a follow-up statement after O'Reilly filed his suit, emphasizing that his initial claims were true, and that, after discussing this matter with a leading firm, I believe there is a strong basis to bring counter-defamation claims against Mr. O'Reilly. Panther is a Harvard Law School graduate, and served in the New Jersey State Assembly in the mid-2000s.